And now it's time for the Friday News with Ian Markham. Hello and welcome to the Friday News, a new comedic news segment here on the channel. I am your host, Ian Markham, here to give you the Friday news and the satire that you deserve. And now, on to the jokes. In climate news, climate czar John Kerry has stated that Russia has done a terrible job lowering their emissions, despite the fact that they are the aggressor in a bloody war against Ukraine. Mr. Kerry was seen saying, and I quote, How can the planet begin to heal when not enough Ukrainians are dying from windmills? In other strange news, a odd new beer commercial has surfaced in Chile. The advertisement depicts a scene from Star Wars where Obi-Wan Kenobi hands Luke Skywalker a beer instead of his father's lightsaber. The biggest shock of all in this story, Chile has a movie theater. Is Alec Baldwin going to prison? Well, it's starting to look that way. The 30 Rock star was handed a brutal omen when the armorer, responsible for handling the gun that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. When asked about this brutal ruling, Mr. Baldwin replied with, quote, That ruling makes me very unhappy. You want to know who was the last person who made me very unhappy? Helena Hutchins. In British news, Princes Harry and William were seen at an event honoring their late mother, Princess Diana. The two brothers were recorded as both being at the event. However, they were seen in separate groups. What's the reason for this? Well, apparently the two princes needed different venues for, quote, pot smoking versus beer swelling. Well, popular social media site TikTok has some bad news facing it as members of Congress come together to discuss banning the app for its Chinese communist espionage. When asked to comment on the matter, a TikTok spokesman said, and I quote, The very notion that TikTok is a propaganda outlet... Uh, for the Chinese government is absurd. We here at TikTok share no relations with the People's Republic of China or any other Chinese propaganda entity. Also, your lucky numbers are 9, 17, 12, 47, 8, and 62. Switching to a gorier subject, a Halifax man chopped off his own ear and used it to inscribe a message in blood on the wall. When a reporter asked why he did this, the Halifax man responded by saying, What? In a shocking development in the flight industry, the Boeing company is facing backlash from many airline travelers after their planes have started falling apart mid-flight. While the Boeing originally stated that they had no idea what was causing the malfunctions, the company has come forward now stating the true cause. They said, quote, it was Alec Baldwin. Yeah, probably gotta delete that. Speaking of high news, in New or in the New Orleans PD, a swarm of rats broke into the evidence room and ate several pounds worth of marijuana. Now it is unknown how the rats escaped, and all I can say is that those rats are gonna teach some really shitty ninja turtles in the future. In some comical news, a grandmother was left dangling above a store window after getting her foot caught in the shutters. I don't really see what the big damn deal is, said the shop's owner. This is a rich tradition here at the Dangling Granny Barbecue and VCR Repair. And finally, independent presidential candidate RFK Jr. is drawing some criticism for selecting NFL star Aaron Rodgers as his possible VP pick. Some of the reactions include, quote, If that guy becomes vice president, then it's the end of this country, end quote. Says a man who looked a lot like Tom Brady, wearing a sombrero, sunglasses, and a little tiny fake mustache. And that's it! Be sure to like the video if you like the video, and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Share it around, really helps the channel grow. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope to see you next week. Till then, have a great weekend. Love you guys.